The next learning outcome is spatial interpolation. And we'll talk about nearest neighbor and inverse distance uh, weighting. So as we discussed in the last uh, uh, objective video that spatial interpolation is estimation of unmeasured data based upon measured samples of the same variable. And as in, in engineering students, you have used interpolation uh, many times um, in your, in your um, courses. And the three common approaches that we use are nearest neighbor interpolation and in maybe your water or hydrology class you have used you have called this uh, thesan polygon interpolation the other one is local air averaging interpolation and the last one is the inverse distance weighted interpolation in case of nearest neighbor interpolation the unmeasured point is assigned the value of the nearest sample so let's say if these dots are where we need to um, we have measured some values and we are forming a grid and these are our unknown values these uh, intersections are our unknown values so in this case um, we have a choice between these two uh, neighbors and clearly this one is the nearest neighbor so this value will be assigned to this point if we look at this point then we have this sample and this sample but this one is closer so this value will be assigned to this grid point um, here again for this intersection this is the closest sample and for in this intersection this is the closest sample so often we have these irregularly spaced samples and we want to create a raster image and this is how the nearest neighbor um, assignment or interpolation happens when we convert um, irregularly sample data into a raster image. Um, here is another example 1D which is very straightforward. So these black dots are the samples and ignore the blue line because that's the smooth fit but the red line um, so if we look at the if we look at the midpoint of this sample and this sample um, um, we see that this all the points over this side are closest to this point so they get the same value as this neighbor whereas all the values here are closest to this point so they get this value and because of that we get this staircase um, kind of result from this interpolation um, of course nearest neighborhood or nearest neighbor interpolation is going to result in a staircase or in case of 2d uh, a stair step um, kind of output because we are not calculating new values we are just assigning the neighbor's value to the un unmeasured point the other one is local averaging interpolation in this case we we assign a, 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 a value at the unknown point based upon the average value of the, the neighbors it's a little bit more uh, accurate I would say than nearest neighbor because in this case we can compute. Now I want to uh, point out that in case of nearest neighbor often we need to do this because if the data is nominal because we cannot really calculate the average of um, let's say um, if, it, if the nominal value was the names of uh, uh, the, the, the categories A and B so we cannot really calculate average of A and B but in case of uh, values say 5 and 15 we com can compute uh, an average so an interval or ratio type data we can apply local averaging interpolation so this is usually based upon a certain radius um, and any value that falls within that radius around the unmeasured point is used for averaging so in this case these dots are measured locations and these uh, stars are the unmeasured locations they kind of form a grid and these circles are fixed radius circles um, so for this star 6 and 8 average to 7 so we find the local average value of 7 for this one 5 and 15 give 10 
so on and so forth and if there is only one value that is assigned to that so in this case it becomes like a nearest neighborhood because there is no calculation involved but mostly in this case we um, find the average value um, of the neighbors and it is very useful to convert samples into raster image of uh, interval or ratio type data. The next one is inverse distance uh, weighted uh, interpolation. So in this case it's a, an average but it's a weighted average of the neighbors. So each neighbor gets a weight and so the closer neighbors are supposed to get more weight and that's what inverse distance means that if you're closer to me I, I want to give you more weight in computing the unknown value than somebody who's far away from me. And this is the formula for that where the weight is given by 1 over the distance to the power n. n is any exponent, it can be 1, 2, 3, um, and it kind of determines how this distribution, how this weight is going to be distributed with distance from, from the unmeasured point. And then this division is just normalization of the distance. Um, of, the, of the total weight. So here's an example. Let's say we have three points with values 50, 30, and 52, and we have an unmeasured point that we need to estimate, which is uh, which has three distances from the three points, 4, 2, and 6. So this point will get 1 over 4 weight. This point will get 1 over 2 weight, and this point will get 1 over 6 weight. So we multiply each value with the corresponding weight, 50 times 1 over 4, 30 times 1 over 2, and 52 times 1 over 6. And then we divide by the total weight, which is 1 over 4 plus 1 over 2 plus 1 over 6. And this results in the interpolated value of 39.45 for this unknown or unmeasured point. So this is inverse distance uh, weighted interpolation.